Whenever you start with something good, it's action. What's up, it's Cold Man and Soul. We got a show tomorrow, today, 251 in the morning. We've been rehearsing, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get everything right. We got a show at the uh, Wild Room Brand Marquette. You know what I'm saying? We got a nice lineup. Y'all need to make it to that show. We got a new album, Heart and Soul and Hip Hop. Cold Man, what do you think, man? What's the show about? Tell us what the show's about. Oh man, this is the farewell show. Farewell show? It's the farewell show. It's crazy. It's been a long time since we hit the stage, man. We're going to do it right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at me. I'm tired as fuck, dude. Yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm cut. Cut. Sweat and shit. We ain't cutting nothing, man. We're cutting shit a lot. Fuck it. Steaks and all, it don't matter. But yeah, we got a show. We want y'all to make it. Uh, it's free. You ain't got to pay shit, but tip your bartender. And uh, basically, bring as many people as you can now. Right on West Washington, right across from that place that everybody else goes, you know what I'm saying? Bear Bar. But the they mix. don't play. Listen, hey, the Bear yeah, Bar, yeah, 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 I'll yeah, say yeah. the mix because the mix actually let us perform there. Let you me say something real quick. So, hey, yo. To the people who came to the very first show in Marquette that we did, it's at the mix. At the mix. Which one? Now, the this Bear one? Bar. Yeah, that one. Okay. Hold on. Let's show them this one. Right you know, Friday, February 12th, 2010. Yeah, you see the names on there? Happened. You see the names? Goldman, Soul, Jimmy Wayne, Radio X. Yeah. <laughs> we all. To the people who came out to that show. Remember. We've had some great times, man. <laughs> Seriously. Remember. Let's just go through some. We, we brought, within one week promotion yeah. of this poster, this poster, one week promotion, we brought in 450 people. Now tell me, that ain't success. And guess what? We can get shit for it. Nothing from the door. Matter of fact, when we asked them how many people came, what did he say? Like, like 75 or something, some bullshit number. The whole place was crowded. Good thing DJ Mo had people counting at the door. Yeah, she had some homies from there. Yeah. You know what? She was like, no, y'all brought like 450 people. So, you know, and then there was another show that we did. That was a good night. We got another one. Oh, and another one. That was really good. I remember that one. That was a good show. That was when we were shooting the windshield video. Shout out to AR, Vice and Windshield. That was awesome, yeah. man. That night was amazing. I'm surprised you can remember his last name. That's hard to say. Now, this night, this was a badass night. Party for the Q1. Good shit. Crisco Kid. DJ Lockwell, DJ Mo, DJ Ann, and then <laughs> this this is what brings back some memories right here. Because uh, shout outs to uh, Midwest Crew. There you go, Midwest Crew put us on this show. Was this the first show we ever did? That was the first show we ever did. Ever. And, and uh, in some bar in Kingsford, Michigan. Full of nothing but rednecks and bikers. Rednecks and bikers were rocking our shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, Seriously, cool. they were up. They were up. In full leathers, jumping up and down. You know, exactly. Biker leathers. But they still had love for us. Uh, Midwest crew, I don't even know what happened to you guys. You guys even in Kingsford anymore? No, 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 no. no. They did a show. They did a show April 14th. This year? Yeah, and they did a show April 14th. I was seeing all the promotion and shit. Yeah, they didn't invite yeah. us. Hey, hey man, next time y'all do a show, y'all need to invite us because we're still here. We're still here. And y'all still here if you're doing shows, man. Come on. Man. Anyway, we got a long, extensive history here in Marquette. Uh, we went down to Gaylord for, for two shows with uh, Ill Vision. With Ill Vision Wrecker. Shout out to Hallucinate Shay. There you go. Um, and we did a show. show. We did a couple shows actually in Travis City, Michigan. Yeah. Um, shout out to uh, B. Jenkins. Um, I forget. What's the name of the place? Who the well, yeah, Streeters, Ground Streeters, Zero. Yeah, there you go. Who the fuck was all there, man? Franchise, I know you were there, dude. Um, 
Jails and Six, of course, my boys right there, man. Love you guys for real. I am City. Looking forward to seeing y'all. Uh, yeah, man. Off the private Yo, plane and shit. <laughs> Jails and Six yeah. are coming up here tomorrow to perform at the Wild Rover with us. Yes, and, yes. Uh, they need a Marquette welcome. You know what I'm saying? They are taking a private fucking plane. And saying, you know what, we're Ryan and Style, we are IRC Music Group, this is how we fucking do it. From yeah. Traverse to K.I. Sawyer, where I'm from, and I mean, if they let me know what time, I can have a couple chicks with signs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm saying, that's six. I got a couple girls, Nicole, uh, I got <laughs> twins, Mexican twins. You name it all. Yeah, yo, I'm telling you, they'll all be there holding signs, if... You know, homeboy was there with the camera, catching them getting on the tarmac. Hey, yo, yeah, Brandon Mackey. Brandon Mackey. I'm going to call you tomorrow, and you get your fucking camera. I'll call Miles Meet up. Me at the that airport. little bitch. Miles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing, Miles. I love you, dude. Thanks you, for letting us sell CDs out to Trump. Yeah, dude, for real. You are. Yes, what's up? You are seriously a good ass tomorrow, dude. Yeah, keep promoting. Oh, the fuck out of you, dude. I haven't seen too much promoting the show. You know yeah, what I'm fuck. Where you at, man? Oh, 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 oh it's because you're not 21 uh, yet. Yeah, too busy selling shoes and merchandise and all this other shit. <laughs> and, and laptops. Yeah. You buy a laptop and then you. <laughs> no, 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 hey. Let him do his thing, man. Goddamn. <laughs> no, dude, I love Miles today. That's what's up. <laughs> Keep hustling, man. Keep hustling. <laughs> but anyway, we got a show. Uh, y'all need to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. Like, some of my friends, if y'all, like, don't show up. Go ahead and block him. It's beef, is actually what it's gonna be. Uh, if I see you on the street and you don't show up to my show, I'm gonna bust your shit. I mean, I'm sorry. You know what I'm it's a free show, and you still ain't gonna show up to my hey, shit. That's yo. fucked up. Hey, yo. We're listening to JPlex right now. And. If you guys don't know who JPlex is yet, come out tomorrow, baby. You're gonna fucking know who JPlex is. This guy is one. He's just fucking crazy, dude. He's, he's just insane. This dude is one hell of a fucking artist. He brings good ass music to the table. He brings good ass lyrics to the fucking table. His album is coming out very, very soon. I've been in the studio with him at the Record. Shout out to Andrew Livingston. Um, He's just been working hard, dude. That's exactly what we do. That's how we do music. We make music, not enemies. There you go. That's exactly what I make it. babies. <laughs> They're pretty as hell, so I gotta keep making babies. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, the other thing I wanna say is a conversation. Jake James, Facebook. There's like a whole stack of messages afterwards, comments or whatever. And uh, we just talking about venues. Yes, it's fucked up. Vera Bar, don't want the riffraff hanging out. Supposedly, that's why they don't do hip hop shows. But, as Homeboy pointed out, they still got all types of motherfuckers up in there anyway. So, why the fuck not have a couple hip hop shows just to show some love to the local scene, which they're not doing. And they need to be doing. That's fucked up. I mean, come on, man. What do you got? Something against rap? You got double trouble DJs up in there all the time. Shout out to y'all, too. Thanks for the show. But uh, still, man, you know, y'all gotta do something about that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get everybody together. I was talking to uh, MC Twop. Alex Wadden, who was talking about that. And uh, we need to get something together where everybody as an artist can be under one name that goes to these venues. And once that one name gets the okay from these venues to perform, then every single group that's affiliated with that one name is in. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's two groups, three groups, four groups, or 12 groups. You know what I'm saying? It depends what you got going on. But, uh, you know, we need to do something with hip-hop together, not... Everybody just separated doing the rap and shit. We got 50 different groups all coming to the bar owner at different times, telling them a different story and why they should play the show. That's not going to get the bartender's, you know, say interest, or the bar owner. It's like, he's not going to be interested. Right? He's like, man, all these motherfuckers don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're never going to draw a crowd.